Hey Dave, now that you've had a minute, I imagine to talk with the training staff, is there any additional updates on Max Muncy and how he's doing? Uh, right now, uh, there was some testing, but it's still sort of unclear, um, you know, what, what it means really. Um, I, I think that it's still painful. Um, I just don't want to, we don't want to close the door on a potential down the road postseason appearance. Um, so we're going to kind of see how he responds over the next few days and uh, see where it takes us. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Dave, um, so, but Muncie for Wednesday, is, this, is that looking unlikely at the moment? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's very unlikely. That's very unlikely. Um, but when we look out, then it just hopefully increases the possibility. I mean, realistically, I mean, are we also looking at probably not the division series as well? Um, I, I think where we're at right now, um, you know, it, it's unlikely, but I just don't want to count Max out. And what, who are you looking at? Is it, is it pool holes that's most likely going to be there Wednesday? Or I, I think it's just more matchup driven and, and figuring out what's going to give us the best chance uh, to win that game. You know, net out the offense potential and the, and the defense as well. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Michael Duarte. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I'm just wondering for pitchers, is it all hands on deck on Wednesday if you need them? Or is there anybody you're holding back for a potential NLDS game one? Um, the, with the guys that we choose to have on the roster, it'll be all hands on deck. But, you know, as we dig in more on, on St. Louis, we'll, we'll have, you know, a better chance to make uh, smart decisions. Um, so I, I don't really want to talk about the pitching as far as who's on, who's off right now. Next question is from Mark Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, 106 and 56. How would you assess the, the regular season for you guys? You know what? For the regular season, Ray, I'm, I'm really uh, proud of our guys. I, I think, you know, to go through what we went through and to win a lot of ball games, um, it was a great regular season. It was. Um, you have to uh, give credit to the Giants. Uh, they had an even better regular season. And so, they went out and uh, as uh, perennial annual National League West champions as we are, uh, they, they, uh, they took it from us. Um, and uh, I don't think that we just gave it away. Um, our guys didn't waver all year. And um, so it's not the, the path that we uh, planned out, but now our focus just turns to Wednesday and, and winning a ball game on Wednesday. When the Giants go up 7-1 uh, there uh, during this game, What's the calculus there in terms of taking out Walker? Was that a quick decision for you? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, I, I think that he got work in. He was throwing the baseball really well. Um, but ultimately, our goal is to win the World Series. And so um, to keep Walker going, uh, for me, just didn't make a whole lot of sense to, to get him out of the game, get some other guys in there uh, to save some bullets and get him ready for game one. Uh, for me, it made the most sense. And what's uh, what's it been like watching Trey Turner uh, kind of be the spark plug for you guys here recently? It, it's been a lot of fun. Um, he, he's a guy that just keeps it simple. He's got a lot of humility. He's tremendously talented. Um, Want to congratulate him on on winning a batting title. Um, they don't give those away, so uh, that, that's hard to do. And so uh, him and I know his former teammate were having a little back and forth, but Trey ran away with it and capped it off with a grand slam. So. Um, well done. Congratulations to him. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, Dave, when you say there's been some testing on Max's uh, elbow, are we talking about x-rays or is this a soft tissue? I, 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 think, I, I think it's deeper than the, uh, the soft tissue. Um, but uh, right now, from what I hear, the tests, x-rays, and other scans, I think it's still unclear. Really, it is. Um, which doesn't sound right, but it's uh, the truth. Um, so that's all I know right now. And like I said, I'm not going to close the door on Max uh, going out, looking out. But right now, it certainly doesn't look great. And uh, Trey Turner described Max uh, Scherzer as being already angry, and he'll be even angrier going into the wild card game. Do you? How do you think his last two starts will affect him? Um, 
you know, I, I think that um, he's an easy guy. You know, I talk about betting on guys. Um, we feel very good with Max taking the mound, and no one knows uh, Max better than Trey. So if he's already angry, I guess that's a good thing. And you, you guys faced Adam Wainwright recently. What do you remember about that game? What's the challenge facing him Wednesday? Um, he's a guy that uh, has very good command. Um, it, it's a three, four pitch mix. It's a lot of curveballs, cutters, uh, two seamer, doesn't give in. Um, it, it's just you got to stay short. Um, he, he feeds off of uh, guys trying to get too big with their swings. And, but he's a pro. Him and Yachty, uh, you know, it's countless number of starts that they've had together, the battery. Um, he's a competitor, one, one, of the, one of the great competitors in the game. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Last one's from Rayshon. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Um, obviously, Max uh, Muncy having a great season. I mean, how tough of a blow is this for him, for you? And, and what do you lose, you know, when he's not in there? Well, first off, it's a big blow to him personally because you get this far and as a ball player, you want to see it through and he's an integral part of what we do. And so to not be able to be out there on the field as it stands right now or potentially it's scary, it's uh, it's frustrating, all of the above. Um, but he's just such a dynamic player, you know, in the batter's box defensively and he just adds a lot of a lot to our ball club. So uh, if it does come to that point, um, you, I believe in the depth and, and guys have got to step up. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks guys.